hello guys and welcome to this video from Zeno Trust. well this is not like a tutorial it's just a video um, but it addresses a very important topic and that is reasons why Google Adsense rejects websites okay websites application for monetization okay so now let's get right into it the first reason is content okay if you have a website and your content is not unique um, your content does not add a distinctive value in other words it doesn't give the user a reason to you know want to visit your site again then that is a very legitimate reason why Google Adsense actually rejected your application okay so content is the first word okay so another thing is if you have content that um, you copied from other websites online I mean you copied content from different blogs or you know on different websites online then somehow Google has a way of finding out some of these things and flagging your website as you know copyrighted content website okay so I'm going to show you this is um, a page that specifies some of the things that makes Google reject some websites um, based on content so if you have illegal content um, content that has some intellectual property abuse um, content that you know is dangerous or contains derogatory um, stuffs okay if you have content that enables dishonest behavior misre misrepresentative content malicious or unwanted software sexually explicit content okay so um, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can read this page and make sure that your um, website you submitted for Google to be monetized um, doesn't default in any of these areas okay so um, that's a very um, key reason why some websites are rejected another reason why your website may have been rejected is your website may contain duplicated pages or multiple pages with similar content okay so um, that is another reason why your website may have been rejected next a valid reason why some websites have been rejected is that they do not actually offer the information or service that was promised on the website okay so if you say you created a website um, that talks about fitness and other kind of stuff and the actual content on that website is something entirely different maybe something on tech or computers or web development um, then Google is gonna have a reason to reject your site okay so that's one reason why um, the content on your site at least at the time of you know submitting an application to Google should be what the site is about okay now another reason why websites get rejected by Google Adsense is simple as display okay now the way you organize your site, the way you organize your menu and how easy it is for users to navigate your site so user interface and user experience those are two key factors that affect um, the you know approval rates on website application for Google Adsense so you need to make sure that your website is um, well organized and users find it easy to navigate around next one key reasons why some websites get rejected is that they are just too new so if your website is a newly registered website I mean you registered your website two weeks ago three weeks ago and you know you try and gather some content that you want to immediately apply to Google well the chances that your website will be rejected are pretty high um, so you may need to actually run your website um, for a while um, let's say three months or more before you apply again to Google okay so that's a valid reason why websites get rejected they are simply just recent too recent all right so let's go to the next reason why your website may have been rejected if you have content that are restricted okay such that users need to log in to access those content then at the time of applying to Google if you do not disable that you know restriction then Google may not be able to properly access your site to view those content and that may be a reason why um, your website was rejected okay so that's that now another reason why your website may have been rejected is 
mm, absence of a privacy policy page on your website and even a cookie notice okay so um, that may be a reason why your website was rejected especially if your website um, obtains some kind of data from your user you absolutely need a privacy policy page and even a cookie notice okay now the next reason why um, your website may have been rejected is that you have poor traffic or non-organic traffic so not by non-organic traffic I mean um, traffic generated by you know sponsored adverts and other stuffs okay so um, if you have poor organic traffic then there's a likely chance that your website would be rejected so you may need to do something about that before uh, reapplying to Google okay now here's another reason why your site may have been rejected if you have links on your website that lead to other websites with inappropriate or even harmful content then your website would definitely be rejected by Google because this goes against their terms okay AdSense um, policies and terms okay so you may need to check that to make sure that your website is not redirecting or there is no link on your website that redirects to a website containing inappropriate content or content that are against Google's AdSense policies another valid reason why your website may have been rejected is you have a poor hosting with um, frequent server downtimes or your website is actually very slow okay so um, so those are the so essentially the word that summarizes this is website performance if your website has very poor performance this may be a reason why um, Google can reject your website okay alright so next reason is you're less than 18 so if your Google account states that you're less than 18 then you will not be able to submit a website to Google for AdSense purposes okay last if you've been banned before by Google then forget about submitting a website to Google AdSense um, I don't know how what you want to do about this but this is just um, the facts so um, thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe to my channel and I'll leave a link in the description that shows you a good number of things you can do before you reapply to Google for AdSense monetization like I said I create great content on these kinds of topic, web topics, um, you know, web design, programming, and other stuff. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your time, and see you in another video.